What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more orchestral maneuvers in the dark from their 1981 album Architecture and Morality. And the next tune is the beginning and the end. It's the final tune on the record, so it feels a bit of a play on words there. It makes me wonder whether it might be connected to themes or motifs earlier on the record, whether from the first tune um, or later. It makes me wonder whether the tune itself might be bookended in terms of the composition. Ultimately, it speaks to some process which is cyclical or whereby the conditions at the end recreate the conditions at the beginning of the process. So I do wonder what might be at play. Let's find out. This is Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. The tune is uh, the beginning and the end, and it's from Architecture and Morality, 1981. <laughs> and turn sonically and like that one it felt like the that layer that was there almost to the very end is like a like a synth angelic choir like it had that sort of feel then there's that big sweeping synth bass then the like 
music box, like clock, like, you know, classic, like glass clock or something, sort of ticking um, rhythmic sound. Um, so really like ornately and intricately composed tune in terms of the different layers sonically. And then uh, vocally, I, you know, he really sort of pushed it in a couple moments. I like how um, there was that one extension where I thought at the end of the measure it would finish, but he actually went even higher for the first part of the next measure. So I enjoyed that as well. I caught the title phrase, I caught one or two other words here and there, but not enough to get a sense of what the beginning and the end, you know, the significance of that. So. Um, I look forward to any insights people might have in the comments. Uh, but another cool record, and again, you know, I had sort of understood um, this group almost entirely through the one tune I remember when I started going through them, which is If You Leave, but obviously there's a lot more variety and experimentation to their earlier material than I knew, which again, that's just a product of the fact that when you grow up there's only a finite amount of time you have to explore different musical groups, and they just were one that I knew by name, and again, I had heard one, maybe two tunes, but um, it's been really uh, eye-opening to go through their first couple albums, so, um, is it first three? I don't even remember at this point, again, going through a lot of things, uh, but I do want to give a shout out, because I know Han Solo and Seb and Philip have shared um, OMD with me, so um, I do appreciate the folks uh, enabling this journey. Nevertheless, let me know what you think of this album closer. I will say sonically and atmospherically, it was a really good album closer. It was you know, sort of um, elevated and epic, which, you know, partly that was the angelic synth choir type of uh, synth that was really, you know, giving it that character. But it felt like a uplifting ascent to finish the record, which seems like an appropriate thing. And, you know, perhaps it is like a play on words, the beginning and the end, you know, Alpha Omega, which, you know, it's associated with religious um, beliefs. So I do wonder whether that might have been part of it. But either way, um, a very sonically rich and sublime tune to end the record with. Enough babbling. Do let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.